Hi there, this is Tilly from O Tilly Styled Stock Photography and I'd just like to share with you how you can create a, a logo using Canva online editing program. Previously I've done a tutorial on how to create a logo with Canva and it was with the free account that you can get with Canva. So the logo came with a solid background in a, in a solid color, either white or black or whatever color you choose. Now that's great if you'd like to add your logo to a black or a white background, but if you need a logo that's got a transparent background so you can overlay it over a photo as a watermark for example, then you'll need to, to get a paid account with Canva. Now that's either $12.95 US dollars a month if you pay per, per month or you can get it for $9.95 US a month if you pay annually. I've just created a paid account so I can show you how much you can do. So first of all, once you've created your account, jump onto the home page, click the create a design button and you'll be shown all of these options that you can create. Normally the logo option is down here, but because I've clicked on it before, it comes up in my recent designs at the top. So you click on that and you'll get a blank design pop up in a new window with a bunch of layouts on the side that you can use. So we're gonna pick this layout and I'm going to create this layout now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I've obviously pressed the caps lock button at some point without realizing. <laughs> I always do that. Okay. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll do a different name for this one. So when you first start here, you just want to adjust these so that you get something that's full width. Now it comes up with this nifty little purple dotted line to let you know when the design is centered. So that is centered. I'm going to change that font justification to centered justified. I'm going to go with the font size of 42 and delete that element and I'm going to delete the background as well because I don't want the background because we're going to go with a clear background. So that needs to be a V and I'm going to add in that same element. If you click on shapes, just scrolling through and having a look at what's available. We're going to go with the same one that was actually there, but I want it with the transparent background. So this here, I don't want it to have um, a coloured background like the other one does have. So there we go, centred, come on centre, it's pretty good. I'm going to change that to the same colour as the rest of the design and I'm going to change this to centre, come on, hurry up, there we go. Center that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Once you've done that, you go up to the download button. Now this is where it gets interesting. This is an option that isn't there when you're on the free account. It's a transparent background. Oh, actually I forgot to res resize. So if you want to resize your file, you just click on file and change dimensions up the top left hand corner and it says choose custom dimensions. So I'm going to go with 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels because you couldn't, you know, pretty much you can print um, on, on a publication at 3000 pixels for the logo. So that's a great size to save it for, for printing. It's also, or you can resize it down if you want to save it for online use. So always select a PNG if you want a transparent background and you click the transparent background on and then you download. Now that will save that image as a PNG file to your computer with a clear background which means you can actually pop it over top of any photograph you want to. So now that I've done that I'm going to show you how you can use that. Create a Facebook post. We might just go straight to the photo section. We'll pop this one in the background. This is just a photograph from Otilly Style Stock Photography. There we go. And that's beautiful gold color that matches the gold in this image. You can put it up there or there or in this. It's actually much better on the background like that. 
or you could use a different image. Uh, because that's on white, we can actually place that image on top of this mock-up. It's an iPad mock-up from the Otilly Style Stock Photography range. And you can place the logo onto the iPad just like this. So you can showcase your logo using a mock-up. Try and get it straight. There we go, that's pretty good. So that's actually, that's really cool. I'm just going to move it so that it's properly centered on the iPad screen. There we go, it's beautiful. So that's, that looks just amazing. And you can share that image on social media and you've got your logo there. You can also pop the logo anywhere over the image really, but because that's designed for something to be shown off, you can pop your logo there. Um, you could try with, with really any image that hasn't got enough color on it. Um, you could do it on a black background even if you like. It looks absolutely gorgeous against the black background. So there you've just branded your business for under $15 us a month in fact you get 30 days free trial with canva at first so you haven't even paid anything at this point so it's a free logo for the background um, uh, for your business sorry and using these photos that come from otilly styled stock photography um, we give away free photos every month that, um, so there's free ones or you can use a paid subscription if you like as well um, and that gives you just a gorgeous, luxurious brand for a very, very, very low, low dollar amount. It's a great budget option if you're a small business. Um, and there you go. If you have any questions, please send me an email at hello at otilly.net. And be sure to follow me on all social media. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash O-H-T-I-L-L-Y. And on Instagram, um, my handle is at O-H underscore T-I-L-L-Y. Have a lovely day. Bye.